Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in a second description of your ascendant or moon sign uh, will follow. Uh, in the meantime, I want to wish you all the best for year 2024 and um, to tell you that you hear about uh, the most important celestial configurations for the year 2024, both from Sidereo and also uh, modern astrology uh, point of views. And also to tell you that these are just the, the description of the main celestial events. Of course, if you want to have more specific and very detailed reading on how these celestial events will influence your horoscopes. You may uh, book a reading with me, consultation, which will be very detailed and you will be dealing with eclipses, with heliacal phases of the planets, with the future cycles, with um, also um, with the solar activity eventually and with the main transits for 2024 and also with um, the very important changes of positions of the um, um, trans-Saturn in planets like Uranus. So this will be uh, discussed now, uh, but in much better detail, detail it will be seen uh, in your horoscope and such a reading will be available for you with a specific special discount for the year 2024 and you can find it under this video. So all the best to you and to remind you again, we are very powerful and we can shape and we can program our realities, but knowledge is important. This is why I'm, I'm introducing you into this, um, celestial events, uh, transits, um, phases, eclipses, because once you are aware of them once you are informed you do the needed action you in order to change what you don't want to happen and in order to shape your own reality so all the best and here your ascendant followers thank you hello ladies and gentlemen who have sidereal ascendant cancer so this video will be about you who have moon in cancer or sidereal ascendant cancer or if you're following the modern tropical astrology this will be leo so you can watch this video mm, now the year 2024 is very interesting for you because uh, the first appear of appearance of the moon on first of nissan which is uh, showing how the whole year, the whole lunar year ahead will look like, is happening in Aries on 9th of April. And this is a little bit of deviation from the um, traditional astronomical um, situation because usually the moon is not appearing in Aries. But when the moon appears in a different place from what we expect, we this is an omen. And for you, uh, this is somehow emphasis on your 10th house. And uh, for the next year, especially after April, 10th um, house is about your career place. It is your goals, uh, your rank, if you want. It is a um, uh, very important placement, especially if your midheaven will be passing through uh, your 10th house. Now, um, it is emphasis on profession, yes. In addition, um, on 4th of May, Jupiter is leaving your 10th house and he is entering your 11th house where he'll be bring, bringing blessing on finances, gains, children, uh, friendships, your social circle, social role. Also on 18th of June, Uranus is leaving your 10th house. And this I see as a relief because too much was happening on your 10th house. Now with this appearance of the moon, your 10th house will be emphasized, will be important, but not with, in a negative sense. Because Uranus will bring you relief. Because from April of 2017 until, until um, June of 2024, he was on your 10th house. And already from 2017, you started experiencing great changes related to 
your career, goals, even a personal life. Now this is relief. Another relief. The lunar nodes in 2024 also will not be in Aries Libra where your career place is in where you all eclipses of the last two and a half years took place. Many changes, many, because wherever the, the, the eclipses are, there we experience changes because they form like a portal for changes. So in the past um, two and a half years, this axis, 10 fourth houses of house, um, properties, relocations, career, communication with parents, your parents in general. This was axis which was a little bit afflicted. But now uh, there is a change and the lunar nodes in the 2024 will be on the axis of your ninth and third houses. All eclipses will happen on this axis and with this, uh, this axis of yours is becoming a portal for change. In which areas? Communication, media, travel, knowledge, studies. Because the eclipses will take place in Pisces, Virgo, ninth, third houses in, of your horoscope. Where the eclipses? When the eclipses are taking place? Now, we have first eclipse on 24th of March, uh, which is the lunar one. 8th of April, which is the solar one, 17th of September, lunar one, the 2nd of October, solar one, and 17th, 2nd of October and 17th of October, the lunar one. Five eclipses emphasizing very seriously on your axis of travel, communication, knowledge, studies, commerce, negotiations. So this becomes very important. Uh, and this is a little bit of relief from the previous placement, you know, of the lunar nodes and the eclipses. Also, additional emphasis on this particular axis of travel, communication, media, commerce is the fact that Mars becomes visible for the first time on 7th of May on your ninth house. This can bring you desire for uh, to to experience spiritual travel like pilgrimage. Um, to this can uh, result in amazing uh, desires to for spiritual knowledge, for philosophies to follow, uh, and it can be even benevolent. But of course, you may need to be careful how you travel, especially around the dates of the eclipses. I don't advise you to travel or to start new beginnings and so. Now, Jupiter on your 11th, 5th house's axis will be benevolent for communication of, with children, even finances, of course. Uh, and like I probably mentioned on 18th of uh, June, Uranus will be on your 11th house. And in the beginning of this cycle, be a little bit more careful and attentive with children, uh, with friends, uh, when you make financial decisions, especially in the beginning of the cycle of the seven years. Health-wise, especially financial decisions, uh, also the financial decisions which a partner would make. You know, you might need to be a little bit more uh, careful uh, because Uranus will certainly be shaping this area, uh, you know, of your life. But career will be important, your travel, your media work, also uh, 11th house of gains, children, all this becomes like emphasized uh, in the coming 2024 and certainly not in a bad way, but the year will be very busy with all these um, events taking place for you. If I have to compare 2023, with 2024 for you, most probably 2024 will be a little bit more intense, but um, it, you have a certain dose of relief because especially if your mid heaven and lower meridian are passing through your tent and fourth houses, once the Uranus leaves, uh, once the eclipse leave you alone and the eclipses, the next five eclipses of the year 2024, it will be a relief, yeah, like you feel uh, a little bit better, less stressed and so. So 
Ladies and gentlemen with ascendant uh, cancer or mooning cancer, I uh, wish you all the best for 2024 and I wish you not to have any worries and fears and remember when we are joyful, we attract joy because what you we vibrate, this is what we attract. So all the best and thank you uh, so much for your attention.